Hey everybody, this is MJ with Off Grid Online. So, I'm a bit excited. I'm visiting my parents over here in the wonderful Tampa, Florida. Um, my reason for uh, coming this week also is to implement uh, a homemade elevator that I designed. I'm using a hoist from Harbor Freight and I made an Arduino project that will allow me to have the up and down buttons that you would normally have on an elevator and I've integrated it with the Harbor Freight hoist and it's going to control this elevator which my dad has already gotten started uh, there's the platform down there we still got to put the casters on there and got to put some bracing uh, up here to the wall and uh, the hoist is going to mount right up here and will attach to the elevator down there hope I got that in the shot but uh, I'll be working on getting the frame ready and getting the hoist installed and I'll give you guys an update so here we are it's uh, actually day three uh, we spent all day yesterday assembling the elevator platform and hooking up the uh, hoist to control it. And then I actually got all of the electronics and everything hooked up. There's a few little steps left to go, but for the most part the system is already functional and ready to be used. Okay, so we still got a little bit of work to patch back up but we had a you know we wanted all the wires to be run through the walls and stuff I installed a, a switch with the outlet so that the switch can manually shut off the elevator system this of course was my first prototype but got a status indicator tells you what floor it's on and it's all controlled by an Arduino Nano um, I installed some relays in the actual hoist system um, that are 5 volt input and will operate the, the 110 volts that the hoist runs on. So for simplicity, the entire elevator system's brain works on this little nano powered by this USB plug. This uh, extension cord is running into that switch so that I can turn it off. Now, when I turn this system on, it bypasses the manual control of the hoist. If you turn this system off, the, man the hoist is returned control on that, the, um, the hoist controller, you know, the, the dangling one that normally comes with it. But whenever the elevator system is operational, it bypasses that manual control. So here we are. There's the cable running up the pole, and there's the hoist. It's braced off at the top. This concrete, this pole has got a. It's been concreted on the inside just for extra strength. Um, and the platform basically just sits on some rollers that roll up and down on it. A pretty simple design. Uh, we're still got to put a couple of uh, casters that are going to ride on a track up against this wall going straight up all the way up to the where the second floor ends right about there possibly a foot higher but basically that's just going to be a guide and uh, plus it'll give a little bit of uh, ability to lean on the wall and it'll help stabilize it because right now it wobbles a little bit you know just going side to side but once we have the casters on the on that corner and on that corner leaning up against the wall Whenever there's weight on there, it's going to push up against the wall between the pole, so it'll stabilize it. This wire that's dangling right here um, has not been hooked up permanently yet. It's just temporarily um, enabling the use of the system just to make sure everything is working right. But this will actually tie into the onboard uh, controls. And I have a couple of the controls right here installed on this pole. So, you know, if your elevator is up at the second floor, you can call it. You know, here's your down button, here's your up button. Emergency stop on the 
the both floors and there will be an emergency stop on the elevator itself as well. But. So the last step is of course to put a panel on this, but we've already got the panel on the first floor mounted on the back side of that post. And the other one is upstairs. I don't know if you can see that in the video. But just keep, we'll press the up button. Hands free. Washers. On the first floor, you have the main limit switch on the top, backup limit switch on the bottom if for some reason the top one fails. And as you can see, it's just got a little angled piece to set it. And the elevator will stop right when it hits that switch. So, uh, if you are interested in obtaining this elevator system, this uh, dumbwaiter um, platform mover however you want to describe it i'm not sure quite yet how i want to uh, name it but uh i am going to make it available on uh, ebay most likely uh, if you are interested please send me a message um, through youtube i'll make sure that the comments are available and you can send me a message tell me if you're interested and uh, i'll be assembling a kit that will hopefully be fairly easy to assemble and of course if you have any issues during installation, I'll be more than happy to help you through it. Uh, with that said, this is MJ with Off Grid Online. Hope you have a great day.